What's up guys, we're back with another battle video. Today we're going to be battling GG Vision. Make sure you guys go check out his video after you check this one out. Let us know who wins. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Chaos Dragon, Levianir, Mask of Dispel, and Magical Hats. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know who you think won between me and GG Vision. And as I showed you guys in a video earlier this week, we're opening... An Invasion of Chaos Special Edition with the KB Toys, $10.99 on it. I wish it was still $10.99. Then we have a couple of his Patreon packs, which will be fun to open. They're just uh, custom-made packs for his Patreon, so it's going to be cool to see what's inside of there. And then we have the uh, Enemy of Justice, the Enemy of Ruxin. This, this set never treats us well. We have some Generation Force First Edition Potential Leviathan Dragon. Number 17, Ghost Rare. We've got a couple of GX packs, a first edition Cybernetic Revolution. It is retail, but it still could have a Cyber End Ultra, which would be insane. And then we have some unlimited original Magic Rulers. Two first editions with the KB Toys, $4.99, man. That's it. Same price as the unlimited, interesting. And two first edition Pharaoh Servant for $3.99. All right, so we have these epic packs. Let's start off with his Patreon packs, and let's see what's in these. They're kind of like mystery packs, so what's going to be inside? These are really cool. Let's see if we can get something crazy in them. So I don't know, is he going to be opening his own Patreon packs? That's what I'm wondering. Because it's a battle, so there's a Radiant, that's nice. Because um, if he opens his own packs, like, does that count toward the battle? Ultimate Tyranno, Tempest, wow, there's a lot of foils in here. Now we're in Ultra, so we got Rares, Supers, and Ultras. Successor Soul, get out. Now we're in a Secret Rares, Witchcrafter, Pitor, or a Whale. I'm not sure which ones of these are good. Claw Stream. And then we got, whoa! So you got a random time seal. Is that there, like, just to be, like, be in front of the skull? And then a Yap 1 Summon Skull. That's pretty crazy. Not in terrible. Okay, there's a little bit of a ding right there and a little bit of something right there, but really not terrible condition for that. That's a really nice card. So we're going to sleeve that up. All right, so that's a good start. That's a good start. I don't know uh, how this Patreon uh, power pack works toward our uh, our battle, but um, yeah, <laughs> we're going to open them up. We're going to see what's in here. All right. And I believe tomorrow we are going to be opening more Ghosts from the Past against Rhyme Style. So that's the kind of the plan right now. And then Sunday we're doing, there's a lot of future fusions. We are doing three in a row. We are doing a case opening on live maybe even more it depends oh outer entity secret rare another outer entity thousand eyes those are actually pretty valuable even in common and rare darius is worth something insect knight oh wow that's an expensive card a drytron nova that's like a 30 dollars card okay so i'm wondering if these are random or did he stack the pack because he knew it was me that's what i'm wondering and also if he stacked the pack he's beating himself in the battle also, he did make a pretty uh, epic intro. He saw yu gi -Oh's intro. He was inspired to make an epic one himself. Oh, we got some spoilers for gold. Uh, so check that out. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Artifact Lancia. Oh, there's a secret rare from Crossroads of Chaos. That's cool. The Ur. Necro Gardener. Okay, so these just come in random order. Okay, Comic Hand. Cool. There's some just like really nice cards in here. Honest. Red Eyes B Dragon. Oh, Dark Arm Dragon. That's really cool. Secret Rares. Those are really awesome. They're from Legendary Collection Kaiba, but still really cool. So, uh, those are definitely a lot better. The last ones he sent us uh, were not as good as this. He, he definitely upped his game on those. Okay, so let's get into the official Konami packs. So, we have Invasion of Chaos. We're probably going to save that one for a little bit later. Let's go into Generation Force. He said that he opened his. He thinks these have a chance of being scaled. So we're going to find out. Maybe he just got really unlucky just on these Generation Force packs, though. He said everything else he believes is not. So I'm, that's, I'm assuming that that means he pulled really good from everything else. Okay, so it's possible that Generation Force uh, has been tampered with. We're going to see. We're going to go through those quick because he said that. Now I'm going to try and find out. Are these scaled? Let's go. Crash Bug Road. Sky Star Ray. So, so far, possibly 0 for 2. And scaled, by the way, means uh, that someone weighed out the packs. And you can only do it with certain packs. Like on the newer packs where you have all foils in the pack, you can't scale them out because they're all weighed the same. 
but in older packs where you had just hollows or something like that in older packs where you had a hollow and like a commons and stuff you, the hollow would weigh more than like a rare and then if you have a ghost rare those weigh apparently the most i've never scaled out a ghost rare so i'm not sure that's just what i've heard so so far it's looking like he may be right about these okay generation force so we will see we'll see if he, if he's right hopefully these are the only ones because these were probably the least exciting of the packs they can't get the leviathan dragon which i do think is really awesome but compared to these other packs it's not too serious so let's see if we can like see anything it's probably just it could be resealed could be scaled who knows um i don't really know who's resealing these kind of packs though or scaling because they're just not that valuable so it's kind of weird okay here we go oh fish but the oh fish all right so far it is looking uh it's not looking too great maybe we can pull something epic maybe, watch watch this we're gonna go through them there's gonna be a ghost right in here this guy's star right can you imagine getting the leviathan dragon it's like ah oh, no it's not in here and then it's just a ghost right just sitting there so right now we are over so this is the last last one so i'm thinking that he may have been right about that and we probably both didn't get anything okay yeah so nothing in those that's kind of why we went through them quickly now we can get into the serious stuff we've got all these big boys let's go to enemy of justice next let's do those we don't have to necessarily do them all in order but enemy of justice first edition let's see if we can pull something big so these look a little bit interesting too i don't know if these are uh i don't know we'll have, we'll have to see they are retail though, so I don't I don't know. It's not really worth it. It's not really worth it to mess with them, but some people may do that, you know. Cyber Karen, they probably didn't know that they're retail and they did that. We got a Necroid Shaman. I think that's actually decent, right? I've seen these cards, these enemy of justice cards so many times. Okay, we have let's check this out. Looks a little bit a little bit sketch on these. Looks a little sketch on these. Yeah, because there's like a little bit of like blue residue in there. It, when it rips like that, that's not usually a good sign. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm not on the camera. When it rips like that, it can be a little bit of a weird sign. Okay. Got Royal Knight. Oh, these are not. These are not. Okay, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can't really scale out Ultimate Rares. That's what I've heard. So if they were not resealed then, I guess. Wow, look at that card. That's awesome. That is awesome. That looks beautiful. Check that out. I don't know if that has any value, like in terms of big money or anything. I don't think it does. But that looks really nice. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay. So it looks like these enemy adjustments are alright. That's sweet. Okay, we're good. So I guess there's nothing to be concerned about in terms of the residue. Possibly another way that could happen is um, being stored in like maybe like weird temperatures. So if it was like too hot, maybe it like melted a little bit. Oh, there's a Swift Bird Banjo, the Ruxin 34 Special. There's a Cyber Prima. Yeah, so these definitely look legit. Cyber Prima. By the way, GG Vision got these from someone else. So I'm not like saying he scaled or like did anything. He got these from someone and he told me like ahead of time that he thought maybe the Generation Force had been mess messed up because he opened his and he was like, hmm, this is weird. <laughs> okay. So Enemy of Justice is now what? Two for three or something like that? Or two for four? We got Royal Knight. Let's go with Power Capsule. Storming Wind. Duh. <laughs> Icarus Attack. Another super rare. The Super Electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. It, these are like barely hollow. Are these like European or something? I need to look at the back. Wait, let's look at the packs. Maybe that'll give us some, some hints into it. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to look, to be honest. Printed in the USA. Okay, these are printed in the USA, so I, I don't think they are. I think they're US. They're just very, uh, it's like hard to see the foil. It's weird. Okay, Whirlwind Weasel. We got a Search Light Man. I forgot about that. Oh, Oversoul. Destiny Signal. And a D Time. We got the D Time and the Cyber Kieran. Okay, last pack of the Enemy of Justice. Can we pull something? What did we go? Like, we pulled three foils or something? Something crazy? D Shield. Dimensional Fisher. We got an ulti, so that's pretty good. Captain Tenacious. Swift Birdman Joe. And a Majestic Mech. Oka. Okay. All right, now we're getting into the big hitters. We've got a Cybernetic Revolution First Edition. If, why, why don't we just pull a... Why don't we just pull a Cyber and Dragon or an ulti out of here? Why not Bubble Man? Ultimate Rare. Why not? 
Death Croaking. CRV first edition. We could pull Cyber Dragon. That'd be cool. Even in Super Rare. Mechanical Hound. The Doitsu. If you guys haven't seen when we opened the first edition Cybernetic Revolution hobby box, check it out. It was pretty awesome. We got a Doitsu. And Giant Kazaki. Okay, next one. Oh, we did get an ultimate rare from one pack. And this is a pretty good one. Magical Explosion. No way. An ultimate rare magical explosion from one cybernetic revolution pack. Wow. Check okay, wait, we gotta we gotta do this. Yeah. Two ultimate rares in one video. That is amazing. Okay. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. We are doing alright so far. We did pull an ulti out of one pack, the drill roid classic. And Pat Royd with a nice ding on the corner. I'm glad that wasn't on the uh, the ultimate rare. Can we go back to back? This is a retail pack as well. So what, what would we want out of SOI? I think Treeborn Frog's in here. It's unlimited, but... Wait, that's what I'm wondering. Is there unlimited hobby retail? I can't remember. We're, we're going to find out when we pull an ultimate rare Cyber and Dragon. Watch this. Chain Thrasher. Tinkabito Sheehan. This is the one you'd play in Duel Links with the Wild Heart. Because it can't be affected by traps. Ancient Gear Drill. Generation Shift and Memory Crusher. Okay, just the Memory Crusher, the Death Frog. Nice. Silent Insect and Next to be Lost. All right, we're down to the Classic Packs. So let's go ahead and open up the Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. Are we just going to rip this thing open? We're just going to... Watch, this is going to hurt, guys. We're just going to rip this thing open. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, guys. If you guys, uh, you know, like the sealed, I'm sorry. It is done. We just destroyed it. What will the... Extra card B. Will it be Gemini Elf? I think Gemini Elf is the one, or Magic Cylinder, or whatever. Gemini Elf, come on. I had a couple of these Gemini Elves uh, IOC versions when I was a kid. Ooh, Lava Golem. That's pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape, too. Pretty good shape. Lava Golem. Ultra rare. Very nice. That's a good one. Okay. And we got ourselves three Invasion of Chaos packs. Here's where it gets epic. Here's where it gets insane. Okay, it's already been epic. It's already been insane. I know. I know. Wait, did you guys tell me that the like button's gray? No! Oh, so disappointed. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. We are already doing really well in the battle. So I think if we pull something big here, we're going to be in good shape. Let's go with Invasion of Chaos. What do we want to pull? The Blackluster Soldier. The card we have never pulled before. Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Fenrir. We've got the Crimson Ninja, Griffin's Feather Duster, Inferno, and Fumashuriken. All right, so if we were uh, Naruto, this would be cool. Okay, Chaos Sorcerer, that's a cool one. Very nice original Chaos Sorcerer. It's been printed a lot since then, though. Okay, let's go to a Magic Ruler Unlimited. It's a shame to open these KB Toys label packs because they're pretty cool. All right, let's make sure. Maybe we got fooled and it's actually first edition under there. We'll see. All right, we will see. Magic Ruler. What do we want? We want Relinquished. We want Toon World. We want Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Stuff like... Wait. This is first edition. Wait a second. Did I open one of the first editions by accident? I did, I think. Oh, well. Well, we're starting off with the first edition, then. Okay. All right. <laughs> starting off hot. Crab Turtle. Let's see what we can get. We got a Snake Fang. Peacock. Let's see what we can do. Wall Shadow. That's a good one. And... Nimble Momonga. Oh, the Burger himself. Hungry Burger. That's a good one. That's a cool one. People like that one. Magic Ruler First Ed. We accidentally opened it up, but okay. All right, let's save the Pharaoh Servant then. Let's go back to the Invasion of Chaos Unlimited from the Special Edition. Can we pull the Blackluster Soldier in this Special Edition of Ruxin 34? Okay, Inferno. The DNA Transplant. What are they doing to that guy? I mean, they're transplanting his DNA, obviously, but Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. Here we go. Chaos end. All right, chaos end. Now let the chaos begin. Here we go. Sasuke Samurai number three. All right, all right. Energy. Another chaos sorcerer. That's good. We'll take that. It's not a manju, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so can we... Let's go with an unlimited pack. Let's make sure we don't mess this up. Unlimited magic ruler. Not first edition. Original 2002 print, though. 
not 2017, not 2013, not 2010, not 2003, 2004, 2002, the original year of Magic Ruler. Here we go. It's still MRL. We've got Griggle. We've got Final Destiny. The Penguin Knight. Eat Gaboon. He's eating a rat. That's kind of a gross looking card. Okay. And Amoeba. All right. Okay. Right, ran and it's all. All right, so that's fine. No, no problem. We don't want any foils. All right, okay. So far, nothing big. Have we pulled a foil yet? Okay, we haven't pulled a foil yet out of the old packs. Last chance of Invasion of Chaos. Come on. Get us some good IOC. We've got a Thunder Crash. Oh, wow. What is going on there? Kind of looks like a rock concert for skeletons. Okay, Blazing and Pachi. Zero Gravity. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. And... DD Scout Plane, classic. Oh, John Yellow. When you pull a foil from IOC, it's going to be DD Scout Plane. But it is a foil. We will take it. We will take a foil. We are down to the last four packs, guys. These vintage, old school, epic packs. So we have first edition. Wait, there was three first editions. Was he? I don't know. I don't know if he knew that that one was first ed. So GG Vision, I think you meant to send me these first eds, and it was covered up. I made that joke like it's going to be first edition, and it was. So yeah, that happened. So yeah, we have three first ed packs. So GG Vision, um, yeah, just letting you know you sent me three. <laughs> okay, unless it was three, and I'm just forgetting. I, I can't remember. I don't know, we're just gonna hopefully get some. All right, Giant Turtle, who feeds on flames. Magical Labyrinth. Dark Zebra. Rising Air Current, here we go. Blue Eyes Tune. Another Amoeba! <laughs> Why would you do this to me? And another toll. It's like the same pack. Ah. Oh. oh my goodness. It hurts. That's painful. Let's go to Pharaoh's Servant. Pharaoh's Servant, please. Jinzo. Buster Blader. Guys, how many times are we going to say it? We will pull a Buster Blader one day. We will pull one one day. I believe that we will. We opened the Pharaoh's Servant box live the other day. Check that live stream out. It was pretty awesome. We didn't get a Buster Blader. So we're going to do it now. Bombardment Beetle. Oh, we never see that one. This is short print. Twin-headed Fire Dragon, one of my favorite cards. Invitation to a Dark Sleep, always after the Twin-headed. Mystic Probe, okay. Here we go, big. It's always the Dimension Hole. Oh my goodness, Numinous Healer, oh, unbelievable. All right, two packs left. So far, nothing big out of the first dead packs. Let's go with Magic Ruler. Can we pull a foil? Come on. Here we go. We've got a Malevolent Nuzzler. Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Fire Kraken. Dark Witch. Here we go. Let's get something good. Come on. Relinquished. Please. Heal Zenru. Okay. Upstart Goblin. We got something good. We got a nice $1 card. <laughs> Maybe like $2 if it's first dead. Okay. Last, last pack. It's going to go to Pharaoh's Servant. It's going to go to Pharaoh's Servant. Our last chance. First edition PSV. Here we go. Can we get something good? We've got a Dark Fire Soldier, number two. The Bite Shoes, the legendary Bite Shoes. The All Seeing White Tiger. Sword, oh, that's a short print. That's a good one. Whew, our last chance, guys. Hit the like button for luck. Here we go. Whew. Monster Recovery. Okay. <laughs> So those old packs were not too good. That's eight packs. We got zero foils. Is that right? Eight pack? No, six packs. Okay. So ratio is about one in six for a super, one in 12 for an ultra. So it makes about one in four. We went over six. So that kind of hurts. Hurts a little bit, but still it was a lot of fun to open those old school packs. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go check out GG Vision's video in the description. Hopefully he will pull something out of those old school packs because we didn't. <laughs> and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, you? Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>